UH football team is on the fast track to get prepared for 15th ranked Boise State. Besides the fact that Hawaii plays on Friday, the Warriors are traveling and leaving tomorrow. And considering how stingy the Broncos defense is, quarterback Inoki Funaki's job is that much harder. They have a great defense and we watched a little bit of film today. And, uh, you know, mistakes, you know, margin of error is get, gets even smaller, you know, against a team like this. So uh, we're definitely going to have to be there mentally. Boise State's defense is one of the best in the country and ranks seventh nationally for allowing an average of just 10.2 points per game, except for then 17th ranked Oregon. No other team has scored more than one touchdown on the Broncos this year. But Coach Greg McMacken says his attitude for his team is that the Broncos are just another opponent. UH still goes there, the defending WAC champions, having upsetting Boise State last year and ending its five-year reign as the conference champions. The thing I tell the players is that, is that we have to play a little bit better than we did last week. We don't have to play superhuman. I don't believe in getting super high. Uh, I believe that you have to play a little bit better than we did last week and continue to get better. We've got our team together now. There are certain things that we have to improve on, but we just have to play a little bit better than we did last week. Boise State enters with a perfect 5-0 record. UH has a current whack road win streak of eight straight games. Its last whack road loss was against Boise State in 2006. Kickoff is at 2 in the afternoon local time this Friday. By this spring, the Warrior football team may be using Ching Field. A blessing and groundbreaking ceremony today marked the beginning of construction. Coach Greg McMacken and UH basketball coach Bob Nash were among those who participated. The field is already being taken apart in order to install new turf projects could be completed in the next two months. Finally tonight. After defeating Louisiana Tech 24-14 Saturday, short week for the U.S. football team, Warriors leave tomorrow to play 15th ranked and unbeaten Boise State on Friday. Before Hawaii won the WAC last season, BSU was five-time defending conference champions. Uh, I know they want to payback because we were the, the WAC champions last year. Fresno wanted to pay us back. Everybody uh, wants to uh, pay us back, uh, you know, after last season. So that's just something we, we deal with. The hype that Boise gets, the national ranking, you guys still remembering that you're the defending WAC champions? Yeah, we keep that in our mind every day, you know. Uh, we strive for that, you know. Boise is just another block in the road, you know. But they're a good team, you know. I'm a, I, I give it to them, but uh, we're going to come ready to play. Defense has been key in the Warriors' last two wins, especially getting 10 turnovers. You knock out that ball at the goal line. That, that turned out to be maybe the biggest play of the game. Tell me about that play. Yeah, I felt good. I just reached out, and his ball's right there, so it popped out, and John picked it up. Lucky thing, huh? Coach has been telling us the turnovers come in bunches. 10 in the last two games. Does it get contagious amongst you guys now? It does, you know. Uh, they do come in bunches, and uh, it is contagious, you know. I think a lot of guys will see guys getting turnovers, you know. They're just like, man, it's my turn now, you know. Uh, I want to get mine, you know. And, uh, you know, we get sacks, turnovers, uh, fumbles, you know. So, I mean, it, it is contagious. It is. Warriors got four turnovers in their win versus La Tech, six when they beat Fresno. It was one of the biggest plays of the game, third and goal with Louisiana Tech at the one, when UH linebacker Brashton Sotelli got to the ball carrier, knocked the rock loose, leading to a Bulldog turnover. Early threat avoided en route to a 24-14 win for the Warriors this past Saturday, and another example of the newfound tenacity displayed this season by Sotelli. John Veneri has more. No fancy armbands, gloves, or sleeves needed. Brashton Satelli is all about the game. I don't wear all that stuff during practice, so I'm not going to change anything to the game. A respected namesake with all the physical features of a standout. One of the things Brashton admits, though, is that prior to this season, he did very little to stand out. It's been three years. I never touched the field, and once I got it, um, I love the feeling. I love the rush I get out there when I tackle somebody, make a big play. Looking to fill the void left by the injured Blaze Suarez and playing through numerous nagging injuries himself, Satelli has emerged as one of Hawaii's top performers on D. He's third on the team in tackles with 34, including five for losses, a quarterback sack, a forced fumble, and a pick. Last year, if you stepped on his toe, he'd be out for a week. When I heard about that, I was kind of like, oh, shoot, coach. <laughs> and this year, he's playing with Hurts all over him. He's really matured. This year, I just changed my, my mentality and... No matter what's going to happen, I'm going to be on the field. He's going to be a big-time linebacker. He's going to play 
in the future if he continues to get better. There were high hopes for the 6'2", 245-pounder long before he took the field at Aloha Stadium. His father, Alvis, was one of the greats at UH who went on to play in the NFL. My dad's real proud. I'm so happy for him. He gets, a lot of, he gets emotional now, so after the games, we talk a lot about the game. He helps me out a lot. Now Satelli is making a reputation for himself and hoping to grow the team's reputation on the road this Friday against 15th-ranked Boise State. We just approach it like every game. Every game is like a big game for us. We have to win one game a week. Warriors and Broncos kick off Friday at 2 p.m. Hawaii time. John Venary, K212 Sports. Fresh off their second straight conference victory, the Warrior football team gets back to work this morning. It's a short turnaround for UH this week. Their game against Boise State is scheduled to be broadcast nationally on Friday. The team has improved dramatically on taking care of the football while forcing turnovers, but now they need to start focusing on another issue finishing ball games. In their last four games, Hawaii's been scoreless in the fourth quarter. You know, it is a concern, especially against a team like Boise. You know, they're, they're, they're relentless and they're going to bring it. So, um, you know, if we want to compete, you know, we're going to have to play all four quarters. It just comes down to, uh, to executing, you know, because I feel like we could have, should have, would have, didn't, you know, score in the second, in that end of the game. Hawaii beat Boise last year to win its first outright WAC championship, but the Warriors are 0-3 against the Broncos when playing in Boise.